Hello everyone. It's now uh, 7.38 a.m. in the morning. It got down to 41 degrees this morning. And, oh. I mean, it is so cold. <coughs> Excuse me. So, due to what happened last night, I'm going to end up, you know, going broke faster and needing to um, ask for help for money and money for food and hotel room, you know. So, I suffered last night, you know, my legs and feet being frosty. And um, having nowhere to use the bathroom. I got to use the bathroom now. And, you know, every time I try to ask for help, the online sex trafficking stalkers, they, um, you know, sabotage um, me trying to get help. And they, they partially... Um, they have like a significant, um, they are significantly one of the main causes of, you know, why I'm in this situation, the gang stalking. So, I don't think I got any sleep last night and me being in this spot right here is dangerous, you know. Is downtown, so I felt scared to even fully fall asleep. And so I need help with, um, I was trying to get help with hotel room for four days. For, um, because it's supposed to be in the early 40s. Now they switch it to where it's supposed to be in the early 40s at night every night and, and I don't have anywhere to go and out in the cold and um you know I was trying to ask for help for four days of hotel and um three days of food and then um Friday I should be I will be, you know, good for at least a week. So, it's very um, tough to um, be forced to survive like this. Or, um, the gang stalkers are, um, trying to coerce me to um for me to be be forced to um give up on trying to fight to survive and live if i get a real job they sabotage that too if i get housing they sabotage that too both in person and online gang stalkers i'm an author and they won't allow me to make a living publishing and writing um, short stories and ebooks. And, you know, they won't even allow me to make a living at all. And so I don't even know what to do or what to go, where to go today. You know, I need help with four days, four nights of, um, of hotel room out of the cold. I was shivering and tortured all night with the cold last night. And due to me being targeted, you know, I'm wrongfully banned from the shelters or or the shelters got bed bugs, um, shelters or cults. And I have nowhere to really turn. And, you know, they're trying to forced me to get frustrated and not want to live here no more. After I've been homesick from my hometown for so many years, 
you know, but even if I go somewhere else, there'll be the exact same gang stalking tactics, maybe slightly switched up, but the same gang stalking tactics and the same abuse, but just from different people. So, I mean, I have just enough money for food for today, but I need help with four days of hotel room or a motel or something. And um, if people can pitch in and help me with hotel or motel and, um, you know, and, you know, for at least like after today, three days worth of food, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, you know. So when I was at the college campus, it was like I was able to eat all you can eat. Like breakfast would be like eight dollars, lunch would be lunch or brunch would be ten dollars plus tax, and then dinner would be like eleven dollars plus tax. But I would eat like the breakfast and no lunch, and then the dinner, and was able to save, you know, the money that way. But now that I'm back downtown, it co- you know it cost them more money to eat. And due to the targeting, it's for the same reasons why I can't go to the night shelters, I can't go to the day shelters, they bully me out and pick fights and bully me out of the shelter or wrongfully ban me, even the day center. So me being targeted, I got to be forced to, um, you know, eat out every meal, being homeless, well, almost every meal. So... I would talk more, but I am freezing cold right now. I need any and all the help I can get. And and as I said, you know, the stalkers want me undeservingly. You know, they work for Satan and they're Luciferians, but they pretend that they're that they're the righteous people and that I'm the criminal. And I mean, y'all think I deserve such harsh punishment because of stuff that y'all are falsely accusing me of. And then y'all laugh, sadistically laugh and think that my suffering is funny. 